All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to connect your Galaxy Buds into your PS4. Now the first thing you want to make sure is that the Galaxy Buds are disconnected from any other device, like your cell phones, laptops, or anything that these headphones have been previously connected to. Just turn off the Bluetooth, that's pretty much all you have to do. Now if you try to connect these head buds with the PlayStation 4 settings, if you go to the Bluetooth, it's not going to work because the PlayStation 4 does not support Bluetooth except headphones that are made for the PlayStation 4. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a Bluetooth adapter. This is for the PS4, and this adapter costs around $10 or so, and I'm gonna include the title of this adapter on the description down below. This is how the adapter comes here. Let me start by taking out the adapter and showing you guys how to connect it to your PS4 and your Bluetooth headphones. We do have a manual here, but I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect it on this video. Now what you wanna do is connect the adapter on the bottom of the controller. Then you wanna turn on the PlayStation 4. So you wanna turn it on here real quick. Then you wanna get your USB adapter and you want to connect it to your PS4. Now you have to log into your account to make sure where the headphones are gonna be connected to. All right, so right now the blue light is blinking very slow. So the first thing you want to do is open up the Galaxy Buds. Now once the Galaxy Buds are open, you want to hold on the top button here for a couple seconds. I say for like two to three seconds, you want to hold it. So one, two, three. Hold it until the light starts blinking faster than usual. And eventually the light's gonna start blinking slow or it's gonna stop until both of these devices are connected. So just give it a couple of seconds there. Once it's solid blue, then you can take off the headphones, you can try them on. Now, as soon as you put the headphones on, you're gonna hear the background music from the PS4. Now with your PlayStation 4 controller that has the adapter connected on the bottom, you wanna go all the way to the top and you wanna go all the way to the settings to the right side. And then you wanna go all the way down where it says devices. Then from here, you wanna to go to audio devices. You wanna go all the way to the top where it says input device. And make sure this and make sure this option is selected. You just press OK. Then for the output device, you want to make sure that this option is connected as well, where it says USB headphones, USB audio device. Then to adjust the microphone level, you want to click on it. And I could hear my voice right now inside the headphones, meaning that the microphone of the headphones are working. So if I put it too low, I could barely hear my voice. And if I put it too high, I carry my voice very high, very loud. So you wanna keep it at a median level. I'm gonna press okay. Now this is the volume for the headphones here. Now keep in mind, you could use the touch function on the sides here to raise or lower down the volume, or you could turn on the ambient sound as well. You could turn it on or off by holding the side of the touchpad here. You could also enable that option. But in order to use these functions, you have to um, change it from your cell phone device. So I do have an iPhone here. And if you want to change the ambient sound, uh, you want to go to the touchpad. Then at the bottom here, you can see I could change it to the ambient sound on the left and to the right. But if I click on it, you have a couple options here. You can use voice command, uh, you can use ambient sound, or you can use the volume down. So if I click on the volume down option here on my iPhone, and I go back, as you can see here, with the left one, I could change the volume down, and on the right, I could put the volume up by touching the side, the side touchpad of the earphones. So if you go to the bottom here to output to headphones, you wanna make sure it's on all audio, meaning that you could hear the sound of the PlayStation 4 and you could talk with the audio chat. Now, if you choose chat only, the sound from the PlayStation and the gameplay is gonna turn off and you could only use a chat option only. So you gotta keep that in mind. You wanna leave it on all audio so that you could hear the sound and you could use the microphone at the same exact time. Now, if you go to switch output device automatically, you want to leave, you want to leave this on automatic. It's up to you, but I'm gonna leave it on automatic here. So now I wanna go back, and from here you pretty much are good to go.
So guys, pretty much the headphones work 100% good. The, the sound, the ambient noise works great. Um, the volume up and down works great as well with no problems. So if you wanna use these headphones with the PS4 and the USB dongle, you can do that perfectly with no problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.